Yo, what's going on, guys? It is your boy, Sean YT here. And today, we're here for a brand new episode on PvP Labs, guys. So we are going to be talking about the brand new release of PvP Labs and the huge changes coming to this new map. And I am very hyped for it. Before I get into anything, I just want to ask you guys, um, I might be making my own faction for this map. Um, if I do, I will need as many people as possible. The, the faction limit, this map is actually 15 people. So I need 14 of you guys to go ahead and uh, join my faction and we'll probably make a faction this map if i get 14 other people there's a lot to get to so i'm gonna go ahead and be as fast as possible this next map on pvp labs is releasing this friday at 5 p.m est now listen guys they have completely reworked this whole map everything is now different the maps are now two weeks and we're going to be talking about some of the brand new features that are going to be added for this brand new map so guys we are here on the forums i'm just going to be reading off some stuff to you guys and uh like i said just talking about what's going to be changed for this brand new map we have been working for the past two months on map five to make sure it is a unique experience we started off thinking about what we could add that other servers have and that people like we then came to the realization that without elevating we're bringing a whole different outlook on casual factions to the table that we are no better than our competitors this is why we have completely rehauled the setup to bring an actual casual experience that anybody can enjoy regarding your faction size or whatever you're playing or whenever you started playing the game mode so like they said guys this is for everyone this isn't just for competitive faction people this is for just casual you want to play factions and you want to have some fun Here we go with the payout so first place is going to be 750 dollars second place is going to be 250 third place is going to be 150 pvp top first place and it is only first place that gets the money and it is going to be 750 dollars I will be talking more about that just because um, PVP top is a brand new feature that they added and they have more information about it down below. So the faction size is going to be 15. I already talked about that. Cannon speed is going to be three seconds. Shield duration is going to be 16 hours, 20 chunk buffer. And the economy is going to be cactus, events, fishing, and raiding outpost and sugar cane. Also to know this, a uh, fly will be disabled for the first 30 minutes of the map alongside tombs disabled until four hours into the map. One the first things that they're actually changing with this server is brand new worlds now i'm not going to read all this right here i'm just going to go ahead and just like summarize it a little bit pretty much there is going to be different worlds where printer will be disabled printer will be enabled left shooting will be enabled or disabled etc some of them have better spawner worth value and some of them have better drop rates and overall it, it really sounds very interesting these brand new worlds are going to bring a brand new thing to factions in my opinion and overall should make the game a lot more fun because you know let's say that you're just starting the server and everyone is going to armageddon you can go to uh, argatha you know or avalon and by the looks of it it looks like mordian is kind of the best here except for left shooting slash right shooting enabled that kind of sucks but it has the most amount of mob drop rates and 100 percent spawner worth but i don't know which one i'm gonna do i'm obviously not gonna say it right here in case uh you go ahead and get uh you know stream sniped without streaming but yeah that's one of the first features that they're adding is worlds and it, it honestly sounds very interesting next thing is going to be pvp top as i was saying earlier so pvp top is extremely similar to the f top system at the end of the map uh one person will receive the 750 dollar payout and this is how you get points you get one point for killing players 50 points for cough capture citadel is a thousand points when an event is eight points etc etc you guys can see right here even okay this part is kind of cool not gonna lie if you get banned on the server you lose a 100 points i personally think it should be more points just because uh well it depends on the ban it really depends on the ban if someone gets banned for like hacking etc you know i think that they should get their whole points wiped in my opinion but who knows who knows so i personally can't wait to even see what this is because i honestly the description says a little bit about it but it's going to be a little bit of surprise of course so i can't wait to see that harvester hose everyone knows what that is you know i don't really have to go too much into this but this is brand new um harvester hose was not a thing last season so this is going to be very interesting to see i know damn well i'm going to be making a big sugarcane farm so like i say guys if you want to join my faction you know of course you guys can join pandora's box now this is a uh ender chest that spawns randomly in the war zone every two hours anybody can win this event it has a 250 durability and it goes down one durability per left and right click now, obviously the last person to hit this thing wins the prize this is kind 
kind of like the conquest on uh, Cosmic PvP. Dark Zone. So um, if you guys played the last couple maps, you guys know that they kind of experimented with the Dark Zone slash uh, end. So now um, they have added the Dark Zone 100% and it is going to be buffed by a lot. There's going to be a huge buff of fishing and there will be an outpost where the capper could receive a selling price of cane for $4 per. I think that the regular selling price is about a dollar, maybe two. So that's about double the price. The entire Dark Zone build has been redone and made it so you can, so it's no longer a void build you can fall off of. Tarantula Lord. Tarantula Lord is a brand new boss that they are adding that will spawn in the Dark Zone every six hours. The rewards, damage, and skills have been completely rehauled to make this boss much harder to defeat either alone or with your friends. Incubator. Okay, guys, you guys can see. Now, this is going to be a vital part of the PvP on Exodus. Uh, obviously, if you guys have played exodus before you guys know that pets are very important and this just makes it way easier to instantly hatch a pet egg and there is a 60 second cooldown of using this gui if you are lab plus you do have three slots to use instead of the one crusade changes now there's going to be a huge change in crusades crusade boosters and skip gems these will allow you to either fully skip a crusade world or gain a boost on the crusade xp you gain per mob now, I personally think that this is going to be a huge update, and I really think it's going to be amazing to finally uh, be able to skip a Crusade world. I hope that I'm able to do that, and, uh, you know, that, that'd just be awesome. There's going to be two new Voyage rooms. MLG Water Bucket. This one is kind of self-explanatory. Everyone gets a uh, Water Bucket, and you just have to, you know, place it before you die. Under Pearl Tower. Spawning at the bottom of a massive tower, you will make your way up to top with 64 Ender Pearls. If you cannot do that with the 64 Ender Pearls, then you will be eliminated when the time is up those honestly sound very cool can't wait to play those i'm gonna go through these rest of these very fast guys sell one you guys know what that is a couple new special items one of them this item will apply to your chest plane give you a 25 percent chance to negate pet collars upon killing a player jordan bone this bone when hitting someone with it will stop the player being able to place blocks for seven seconds triple mask self-explanatory this item works the same as a multi-mask and it will allow you to attach three masks to your helmet now calendar uh this one you know it, it's just really you go ahead and you can purchase this through the gold shop and each day throughout the map you will get a random prize uh you just do slash calendar gui and uh you just redeem your items risk duels you guys know what this is you just uh you're able to now risk your set while you duel people arena slash pvp changes brand new rule rework uh, make sure you guys check this out before you um start anything on the server you guys obviously always want to rename uh read the rules and g kits so uh g kits there is now only nine main g kits on the server and uh, they actually made them much more attainable for anyone who wants to hop on and pvp with their friends or by themselves and here is just a bunch of miscellaneous changes nothing too uh you know broken here or anything that i really need to um about except for they rehauled the ex exodus crate so now the crates are going to be better overall guys i really think that there's some very nice changes and i personally can't wait for the new map thank you all for watching if you did enjoy make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe and i will catch you guys in the next one make sure you hop on this friday 2 p.m pst 5 p.m est peace out